Hello friends, and welcome to a look at the level strip to see how to use it and if it's similar to the keyframe caddy in Adobe Animate. So what is the level strip? Well it's this panel here and is a way to show all drawings that have been created for a single level. And not all of these drawings will necessarily be shown on the X sheet or timeline, but they've been created in the level so can be shown. And this is especially useful when doing manual lip sync. And the question often comes up, does OpenTunes or Tahoma have something like a keyframe caddy that Adobe Animate has to help with lip sync? And the answer is that the level strip is currently the nearest thing to it. So let's take a look at how you can use it and how it's like the keyframe caddy. So I'm using Tahoma here, but this works in exactly the same way in OpenTunes. And you might already have the level strip already showing in the room, as I have here. But if not, you can show it from the Windows menu just here. And as with all panels, if you've unlocked docking, you can dock it against the other panels. And that's fine for the vertical X sheet, but what if you use the timeline? It can be an awkward layout. So let's switch to a room with a timeline view, and open a level strip. And I can dock it to the side, of course, like this, and use it from here. But ideally, you'd want it docked just above the timeline. So let's do that. And now you can see the problem. The level strip doesn't reorganize the drawing orientation automatically. But we can change that by right clicking on any drawing, going to the panel settings and choosing toggle orientation. And now you get a horizontal view of your drawings, much easier to use with the timeline. And you might not have this option in your version of OpenTunes, but it's available now in Tahoma and OTX and in OpenTunes' nightly builds. So, whichever orientation you have, the use is the same. In it, you can see a small thumbnail for each drawing in the X sheet or timelines selected current level. And as you click a different level's drawing in the X sheet, it shows all the drawings you have in that level. So as I change from the faces level through to the shapes level, you can see it changing. Or you can choose the level from the drop down at the top of the level strip. And if you click on a thumbnail in the level strip, that single drawing will be isolated and shown in the viewer for you to edit. And when you do that, you can use the onion skin by either clicking and dragging on the red or green marker to the left and right of the drawing, which lets you choose the drawing to show in the onion skin or, if I unclick those, you can hover over the other drawings and click on the circle that appears. And if you want to change the size of these thumbnails, you can do so in the Preferences dialog, under the File menu, in the Interface section, and then just type a new width and height. And the easiest way to change these is to double the numbers to double the size, or halve the numbers to halve the size. And then, as the asterisk shows, you'll have to restart the program to see the changes. So I won't do that just now, so let's close that. And to use it, you simply drag and drop the drawings from the level strip onto the timeline. And you can drag multiple drawings at once by either clicking and dragging on the drawings to select them, and then drag those, or click one drawing, hold shift, and then click the end of a selection, and it'll select all the drawings in between, and then you can drag those. Or you can hold control and click non-consecutive drawings, and drag those. And once there, you can manipulate them as usual by selecting a drawing and dragging by the drag handle to change its exposure. And that's okay for adding drawings in an empty frame, but if you've got some drawings added, as I have here, you can use the keyboard modifiers to change how the drop works. So if you drop a drawing from the level strip onto a drawing already in a column, it creates a new column to place the drawing in. So if you don't want that, you've got two options. If you hold shift while dragging a drawing from the level strip, you insert it before the frame that you drop it on. So if I want to drop drawing number nine over here in frame number three, where drawing three is, if I hold shift 
as I drop it on number three, you'll see that shifts to the right and inserts drawing nine there. Alternatively, if you hold Alt while dragging, you replace the frame that you drop it on. So if I don't want frame number nine, I can hold Alt, drag frame number eight, and then replace drawing nine with drawing eight. So that's how you get the drawings onto the timeline, but there's two other settings I'd like to briefly show you. And both of them are shown when you right click on a drawing and go into the panel settings flyout. And the first is show and hide drop down menu. And this just removes the drop down list from the top of the panel. So it gives you more screen to work with. And if you're only working with one level, or if you're happy to select the level from the timeline, then you don't really need the drop down. And the second option is the option to hide the navigation area. And this is shown only for raster levels, Toons raster levels in Open Toons, and Smart raster levels into Homer. So if I select on this Smart raster level, you can see the navigation area is this red rectangle around the visible area of the current frame. And if you zoom into the view, the rectangle shows how much of the drawing you can see in the viewer. So if I click and drag the viewer, I can see the circle from drawing three of level A. And now I'm zoomed in, I can use the middle mouse button over this rectangle to move the view. So it makes it easier to navigate the current drawing. So the option simply hides that rectangle. So that's a quick run through of the level strip, another way to access and edit your drawings. And if you want more ideas of how to do lip sync with OpenTunes and Tahoma, check out my lip sync playlist on this channel. And if this is the kind of video that you find useful, then why not subscribe and hit that bell to not miss when I release another tutorial. So, using the level strip as a keyframe caddy, give it a go to organize and reuse your drawings. And that's a guarantee. Yeah.